Uh, let's get more about the situation at uh, Chelsea. We've got Sky Sports' as Jamie Carragher joining us at live now on Sky Sports News. Uh, good to see you, Jamie. Goodness me. Uh, starting at the beginning, what, what did you make initially of, of the decision to sack Thomas Tuchel? Well, it was a shock because I just thought the new regime at Chelsea would be different to Roman Abramovich. And I think I said a few days ago that if Abramovich was still in charge, you would fear for Thomas Tuchel because of what happened in the past with Jose Mourinho, Conte, Ancelotti, lots of great managers. But I did feel as if it may be a different type of regime. So, yes, a huge shock. It hasn't been a great start. We get that. But Chelsea just felt like a team that needed the transfer window to end, get the squad in that they wanted, and then give a top quality manager a chance certainly over the next few weeks or months to you know put some sort of team together signs there that, that, that you saw that Tuchel just wasn't getting enough from the players this season Yeah, but I mean, we're talking six games into a season. I mean, he, he bought a, a Bamiyang made his debut last night for fun, has played two games. So the idea that this team that's, you know, being put together, a lot of money spent, I understand that, and, and pressure comes with that. And Thomas Tuchel will understand that. But he was almost like a director of football a lot through the summer as well. So he was heavily involved in bringing the players in. So he should have been given more time, certainly. Or, I mean, even the next three games takes you to the international break. I don't know what the rush was right now. I think the next three games, see if it could be a, a slight turnaround in upturn in performances and results, but as I said it, it was a big shock because I do think it is a new Chelsea team and the guy who's put it together, this is not a director of football who's put this squad together for the manager this is the manager who's put this squad together with the new owner, he should have been given a lot more time to try and get this team working on the pitch I mean, Chelsea are expected, uh, as we noted, to be speaking to, to Graham Potter. You, you'd have to think uh, this afternoon he's on his way up uh, to London from uh, Brighton. How do you think he would fit in the Chelsea setup? I mean, he knows Kukurea already, of course, very well. But what about other big names he's going to have to work in? As you mentioned, where Tuchel signings? Well, that's the big question mark of, of every manager who moves from a smaller club to one of the giants. And it's a very ruthless club, uh, Chelsea. I'm not exactly sure he is the exact fit. Maybe Chelsea are saying, well, they want to do things differently in the future in terms of having a, you know, a, a coach in charge rather than, than like a, a manager or, you know, they, they do things behind the scenes differently. But it, if I was Graham Potter, I'd find that very hard to believe in the talks I'd be having with the new ownership of Chelsea that they're going to do things differently and he's going to be there for two or three three years because they've just got rid of a manager within six games so I mean yes of course it's a huge step up and at some stage in his managerial career he'll want to manage it at the top and Chelsea is one of the top clubs they are still world champions right now but I mean you, you fear for Graham Potter that he'll be in the same boat as every other Chelsea manager has for the last 10 years unless he gets results instantly they begin a new manager themselves in 12 months excuse me um, lots of praise for, 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 for Potter. I mean, do you think this is a, is a good fit? Because he's, he's worked with this structure at Brighton set up for, for you know, long-term results. Do you think, should Chelsea be looking for a long-term solution? And that's perhaps why he fits. Well, we've heard that so often over the years with Chelsea, they're going to do things differently. And, and to be fair to the club at Chelsea, I've always said when they change managers, they always seem to get success. So it was always difficult to criticise in the, in the uh, Abramovich era. They were very ruthless with managers. Maybe that will change with Potter, I don't know. But uh, as I said, if I was Graham Potter on the back of what they've done with Thomas Tuchel, I'd be very wary of that, uh, maybe getting promised in the talks he has with the club. But, you know... Sooner or later, Graham Potter will move on from Brighton. He's done a brilliant job there. Everyone loves his team, the football that they play. Uh, and I'd be interested whether he can get those ideas across uh, to a Chelsea team if he does take the job. Do you think there'll be any reservations from Potter about what he's going to be entering uh, at, at Chelsea with what's going on at the moment? Oh, 100%. You, you'd have to have those fears. But I think any manager now who's got onto a huge football club as Chelsea are, 
you know you've got to get results instantly. That's that's the way we we, we treat managers now. Uh, you look at how many managers who've you sort of Scott Parker, we've had Thomas Tuchel. There's two or three other managers in the Premier League that we all feel, feel are maybe two or three results away from losing the job. And it, it's a ruthless business. There's a lot of money involved now in the Premier League, and the best coaches in the world are here. So there may be not too many other opportunities for Graham Potter to get a huge football club in the country. The time feels right for him. His, his stock's really high. So I don't think he can take this opportunity down but I wouldn't be falling for uh, you know Chelsea are going to do things differently in the future if uh, they come up in the talks today. Oh, but what is your assessment of, of Potter then is he someone you believe has actually become one of the, the you know England's very top coaches? <sighs> Well, there's no doubt he's one of England's top coaches, so there's not that too many, too many English coaches in, in the Premier League. I mean, I, you look at it and you think of Graham Potter, the job he's doing right now. You think of uh, Pochettino, who's out of work, and it may be easier to get him to the club. If, if you'd asked me, if I was a Chelsea supporter, whoa. <laughs> If I was a Chelsea supporter uh, who I'd like to see manage my club, I, I, I'd, I'd go for Pochettino. OK. So with, with Chelsea right now only five points off the top of the table in all competitions as well. They're involved in the Champions League. What, what's the best that they can try and achieve this season? What, what will be expected of the new manager? Well, they'd expect to get top four at least. That, that's what Chelsea do. They, they win trophies. They're a huge club. I, I, in some ways, I admire how ruthless they are. They don't accept second best, and it's proved very successful for them. Uh, Graham Potter or any other manager will be expected to get into the Champions League for next season and have a run at all the trophies uh, this season. You know, Chelsea expect that. But you think of Thomas Tuchel's record in, you know, making Chelsea European champions, world champions, winning the Super Cup. I think getting to every domestic cup final he's entered. Uh, just shows that even even that wasn't good enough uh, for Chelsea at, at certain stages because they've started the season so poorly. So, yeah, I think uh, there'll be no bedding in period for any new manager. They'll expect to challenge for trophies straight away. And straight away, it's a West London derby. If if this moves as fast as it has been, a new manager or Potter could be in charge of Fulham at the weekend. They then got. At home in the Champions League midweek, then a huge game against Liverpool live on Sky Sports. Bit of a baptism of fire, this. Yeah, it, it will be, but that's that's what you're coming into. You know, it, it will be completely different from managing Brighton. Just the, the press conference, us on Sky talking about the team, Sky Sports News. It, Chelsea, the huge, you know, football club, and those big games. You think of that Liverpool game especially, and certainly the Champions League game because of what happened last night in a really poor performance for Chelsea. They'll have to hit the ground running, uh, and I just feel Thomas Tuchel should have at least been given to the international break, and it would have made it easy actually for a Graham Potter or whoever else to actually sort of bed himself in over that two-week period of, of the international break and get himself set then for his first game because, as you said, it is a real baptism of, uh, of fire. Jamie, thank you very much uh, for putting up with what's going on in the background and chatting with us about this. Thank you.